important isn't it? It's the biggest organ on your body and it's literally evolved to last you a lifetime and protect you from the elements. So we need to protect it and uh, to that end I'm going to show you how I make a skin cream. I've got this philosophy and that is why should I rub anything into my skin that I wouldn't be prepared to eat. A lot of commercial preparations these days contain petrochemicals and although they're deemed safe they're also deemed safe by the people who sell it. What I first, the first thing I want to do is set up a double boiler because I'm going to be melting some uh, hard oils and some wax to create this and so to that end I'm just going to uh, switch on my double boiler. Now what a double boiler is I'm just using a large uh, pan with some water in the bottom and a second pan that fits over that but not touching the water underneath. I now need to bring that up to some heat while I'm preparing my other ingredients. I'll quickly talk you through those. What we're going to do is I'm going to, you can, you can pretty much wing this but you need to start with oils and uh, the emulsifying agent we use because we're also adding water to this is I'm using beeswax. You can get beeswax from lots of different sources but I like to buy it in these little pellets which I find really useful and uh, you don't use an awful lot of it. Okay the excellent base oil I use is olive oil and the secondary oil is coconut oil. Uh, coconut oil is, is good, it's a humectant, it locks moisture into the skin but only if used in small amounts. Um, another thing I'm going to use is uh, this is cocoa butter and I really like to use cocoa butter, the best cocoa butter you can find and I also like to use some shea butter, shea butter uh, which is also really good for your skin. Um, the active uh, healing compounds in it are calendula oil, uh, you can use comfrey oil, comfrey oil is a very healing oil and in the ancient times it was used to uh, uh, to set bones and other healing properties and very soothing is chamomile, I'm using chamomile essential oil. If you're going to keep this for any length of time you're going to need some kind of preservative and a natural preservative uh, is vitamin E which is also really good for your skin. So I'm going to put a few drops of that into it and uh, in addition to those you'll need some pure water. I'm using distilled water. You'll also need some sterilized and clean jars and I like to keep track of what I'm doing by using weighing scales. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this end of my boiler and then I'm going to tear the weight and I'll tear that down to zero and I'm going to add 150 grams of olive oil. I'm going to tear the weight down again. I can turn that down now it's coming to a boil. And I'm going to use 50 grams of uh, coconut oil. I'm using 20 grams of shea butter and 20 grams of cocoa butter. So that's all my oils and butters put together. So what I'm going to do now is just put that onto the double boiler and start to melt that. You don't want to melt it on direct heat because that will mess everything up. I've also weighed out 25 grams of beeswax pellets and I'm adding those to the bain-marie or to the double boiler and then all we need to do now is stir to melt that. You just stir into melt and to combine the oils. I'm just going to transfer that now and just make sure that it's given a stir that everything is mixed together Already smells good. There's a, a wonderful 
uh, smell of chocolate that comes from the cocoa butter. Those of you who use uh, cocoa butter will, will know this. So I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of calendula oil and about the same of comfrey oil and then I'm going to put in a few drops of chamomile I normally give about 12 of those and already that it's such a fantastic smell now of chamomile mixing in with the smell of the chocolate and I'm going to put in some vitamin E I'm going to put in about half a teaspoon of vitamin E the next stage in the process is where we whip up the oils uh, along with some water to create this cream and what I like to do is, is I because I'm mixing it up with a hand blender rather than a whisk if I was doing it just with a whisk or with a, a hand mixer what I would do is, is do it in, in, the, in the bowl itself but because I'm using a hand blender I'm going to transfer it into the jar and then just make sure I get all that in there because that's already starting to to gel you can easily order the butters and essential oils online alternatively and preferredly if you have a local supplier of such things go and give them the love some of the items you might find difficult to obtain but most um, local shopkeepers can get you anything provided you give them enough time so bear that in mind I'm going to let that set a little more before I start uh, whisking it up okay one uh, way of speeding up the process is to have a bowl with some cold water in it even iced water if you have ice available and um, to sit your oils and waxes in that bowl and uh, allow it to cool down a little faster as you see now it's starting to uh, catch around the edges and gel you can actually pour this straight into a jar as it is and use it as a hand cream by rubbing it straight into your skin um, it, it will be more difficult to rub into your skin uh, it will take longer but it will have the same healing and moisturizing effects as if you add water so now that it's starting to catch what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my hand blender down to low and introduce that into there and begin whipping and I'll take that out and just show you what we're talking about so as you see look it's already starting to form and it, we, we need to whip it up until it starts to look a bit more like mayonnaise and you can lift the, the hand blender up because you, we're not worried about getting air into this one in fact that's desirable and I can see the fact that it's not coming up yet is because it's still a bit too warm so I'm going to leave it a few more minutes and then come back to it all right it's cooled down a little more so now I'm going to add in all my water that's just a couple of shot glasses worth so what I like to do is I like to get into the jar the mixing jar and clean it off the walls and off the bottom get it all mixed back in again and then give it another blast so what you end up with is something very much like a, a lotion rather than a butter or a paste so as you see here the beeswax has emulsified the oil and the water to keep it in suspension so now we have 
this lovely lotion which uh, we can now bottle or jar. What I'm going to do, I've got a sterilised bottle here and this is the one I'm going to give to my friend and I'm, everything's sterilised that I'm using and I'm just going to, you can use um, any lotion bottles you've got as long as they're, they're properly cleaned and sterilised I don't particularly like to use plastic ones if I can avoid it and on with the sterilised lid and there we have it a nice bottle of lotion to rub into your skin or into your hands <laughs>